A prominent UK politician has just called out and attacked Andrew Tate. His name is Hamza Yousaf and he is the first minister of Scotland and the leader of the Scottish National Party. Before we go on to what he said, I'm clearly putting myself in the firing line by talking about him. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel, The A-Dog. It would mean a lot to me and I post important videos like this often. Now on to the article. He started by saying, misogynists like Andrew Tate hold sway over thousands of young men and boys. Male leaders like me must address that. We cannot be passive bystanders when the actions of men cause so much pain and suffering. It is vital to listen and learn. It's pretty simple. Men have made our communities feel far too unsafe for far too many women. As the First Minister of Scotland, this is not a situation I'm willing to accept. Let's be clear, this is not a situation unique to the UK. Women and girls all over the world are suffering due to the actions of men. Men could not be passive bystanders when it comes to our actions that are causing such pain, suffering and misery. We have to take a stand. It is simply not good enough to say not all men and wash our hands of the problem we have collectively created. Every single man can and should play his role in making change. Now this is just the start, it does get worse. There is a great responsibility on me as a male in a position of leadership to do what I can to root out and tackle the toxic masculinity and male self-entitlement that leads to violence, harassment, misogyny and abuse against women. But it is not enough to pontificate and lecture. A pious approach to tackling toxic masculinity will not solve the issue, nor most crucially will it make women feel safer. Whilst the influence and grip that celebrity misogynists such as Andrew Tate hold over thousands of young men and boys in Scotland should make us feel all uneasy. Simply finger wagging is not the answer. If that is our only response, then we will continue to fail to understand why young men and boys gravitate towards the Tates of the world. We will fail to understand what lies behind the anger. He says a few more things, but he ends with this. As First Minister, I want Scotland to take the lead in tackling the root causes of gender-based abuse, toxic masculinity, to build a healthier, safer, and more equal society. So that was Hamza Yousaf commenting on Andrew Tate and misogyny. Honestly, very worrying because he is actually in a position of great power. The most important thing he says actually is at one point he alludes to the fact that we shouldn't just be tackling this issue by talking about it piously pious being faithful to god that is what that means my interpretation of what he was trying to say there if you read between the lines is that he is going to take a more hardline approach in attacking men which is very worrying because i don't know what he would do but it is concerning to say the least but yeah i thought it was important to share this as he is a prominent figure please like the video or comment um and thank you very much for watching